Congratulations, you just graduated from college. You want to see what the world has to offer you, so you decide to reward yourself with this amazing trip to go see Asia, to go see Europe. Come back home, you're well rested, and then you realize, damn, I gotta get myself a job. Hey people, it's Brian back at you with another video and today I want to answer a question from Fred who asks I recently graduated and went on a long trip to Asia. I would like some ideas on how to use my travel experience to benefit me on my resume and applying for jobs. So before I answer that question, guys, if you are transitioning from the college world and into the work world, you'll definitely want to download my free ebook called The Unfair Advantage. And I'll teach you how to write up your resume, how to write up your cover letter, how to interview, how to reach out to companies so that they can set up information interviews with you, how to negotiate your salary, and a lot more. I highly recommend that you guys read that. It is a quick read as well. And again, it's a free download. So take advantage of it. Go to my website, 101mentoring.com. I'll even have a link in the description down below. Right, so I'm going to answer this the best I can, but I have to say, I need a lot more information and this goes out to the rest of you viewers as well who are reaching out to me. Don't be afraid to add more content, more information into your question. Don't just ask me one question. Feel free to add multiple sentences so that I can understand what you're asking for and so that I can help tailor my answer specifically to you. So Fred, in terms of your question, Right away, I don't know how long you went on your travels for. I don't know where you traveled to. Did you go purely for pleasure? Did you just visit the beaches, check out the food, meet new people? Or were you integrating yourself into that society? Were you working within that community? I don't know what your background is. Are you, are you Caucasian? Are you Asian? Are you Indian? That would also help me out as well. So that said, I will do my best to answer this question, but please bear in mind that I don't have the appropriate context. So in terms of adding experiences or skill sets onto your resume based on your recent travels, friend, here's what I recommend that you do. You stick to the soft skills side of the equation. Soft skills are things like the ability to communicate with other people, the ability to connect with other people, the ability to empathize, the ability to network. So you're able to pick up any new languages where you're able to speak in that language or write in that language. Maybe you can speak the language, but you are still able to connect with them. And connecting is a very, very powerful skill set to have. And if you're able to do that, if you're able to make new friends, even with a language barrier, but you are still able to do that through body language, through facial expression, uh, maybe you were using an app on your phone to translate, but you are still able to create a bond with another person as to how to tweak that onto your resume, that will be very specific to the job that you are looking at. But in the meantime, just think about whether you're able to do that or not. If you did, that's good. Were you able to create a new network of friends relatively easily? Did you travel alone and end up with a new network of friends by the end of it? Were you able to introduce yourself or get along with people, create small talk very simply, and that you were able to introduce your network to other people and in essence build your network and amplify it? Are you still in touch with them? Have you followed up with them? Maybe they know other people that can help you get a job opportunity. Now the point of all this is that I'm trying to explore whether you had the skills or you were able to use those social skills and tailor them or fine tune them during your travel, during your experiences overseas and see where we can take that and apply that to your resume. And the other thing I want to bring up is that perhaps with your experiences traveling to Asia, you now have this understanding of their culture. You have an understanding of that society of that market. Bringing that information back to North America, I'm assuming you're from North America, and you can then capitalize on what they like, right? And you can bring and feed that back into a company that you want to work for. And that's something you can definitely brag about on your cover letter and on your resume. Let's say a company wants to expand into China. Maybe they want to expand into India. You've been there, you know the type of people, you know their culture, right? you know what they like, you know what they don't like, you know what they might find offensive, what they might be open to or what the new developments are. You have that insight and I think that's something that would be very valuable for you and something you really want to shed light on to your future employers. I want to move away briefly. This time I want to take a, a moment to look at you. The point of all of this is to use your travel experience as a way to figure yourself out better, to see what your strengths are, to see what your talents are. So maybe you're a thrill seeker, but at the same time you realize that you like to have an organized day. What does that mean? It means that maybe you want to find jobs that have a high-paced, high-pressure environment. 
that adds that element of thrill. Maybe you want a very organized situation where uh, you have meetings set up or itineraries set up throughout the day in that type of environment. Maybe there are regular scheduled meetings throughout the week. So that keeps you on pace, right? You really want to have that moment to kind of just reflect upon yourself. How were you during your travel experiences? And then from that, what does that say about you? And based on that information, then you apply for jobs. We look at jobs that play to those strengths. Yeah, we talked about the soft skills that you can put on your resume, but I think the, the best value you have right now from your work experience, based on the information I have from you, is to really use that to understand yourself better, to look at your strengths and talents better. And once you find that out, Fred, feel free to email me. Reach out to me, contact me, let me know how it goes. I'd love to hear from you. And for the rest of you viewers, to do the same and use it as an opportunity to look inside you and figure out what your strengths and talents are. So that's it for me today, but before I let you guys go, I wanna let you know that I have two new products that are currently available on my website, oneonementoring.com. One of the program is called the Migration Method, and this is great for those of you who are just finished college, you just got your undergrad degree, you're gonna realize pretty quickly that on paper, you look like every other student that you graduated with. The migration method teaches you how to separate yourself from the rest of the pack, how to make yourself more alluring, how to make yourself different, so that you are branded differently, seen differently from your employers, and that way it gives them an incentive to hire you. The other program I have available is called Single Down, and this program is designed to help you get promoted within a company. So if you know that you want to work in a very highly respected, highly reputable company, and you want to climb that corporate ladder, this program is designed to help you get promoted so that higher executives know you, they see you, and when they have a promotion available, you're going to be the first name on their mind. Both of those programs are super cheap, only 10 bucks a pop. They're very affordable. I'd really recommend that you at least check out the website and just get more information. Guys, if you have a question that you'd like me to answer in a future video, go to my website, send me your questions. Be sure to add a lot of detail so that I can answer the question specifically for you. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.